Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to another reshade and depth 3D video. And today, today we're going to be covering Days Gone. Now this is one of my favorite games of all time. I always jump back into this game. Of course I have finished it and finished the whole story. And I have some weapons that you acquired along the way like the taser, which I love using. Especially when it's just one person or one freaker that comes against me. Otherwise, it's a little bit more difficult, more challenging. But this is not what it's all about. Today, we're going to be talking about first person mod. We're going to be talking about a reshade that looks like this. Makes it look a little bit more realistic. And that is super immersive, especially when you're in depth 3D. And that's what you're going to be experiencing very, very soon. So I encourage you to go bring your headset connect it to the PC, use virtual desktop if you have it on your PC, launch it. If you don't have virtual desktop, you can use a free software called VR Companion and the links to it will be in the description down below. So don't worry if you don't have it. And once you see the SBS side by side, press the right control on your keyboard if you're using Companion or hit F7 on your keyboard if you are using virtual desktop and you'll see everything in depth 3D. So why don't you go ahead and do it in 3, 2, 1, go. Here we are. Days Gone. First person. 3D depth. Oh, is this water down there? Yes, it is. And you can see how cool that looks. I mean, look at this. Look at this in first person. Like, what? And I mean, this is something. Yeah, wanted to tase her. This is something that you cannot experience in on flat screen. And of course, first person, this game has to be. Oh no. Where is the yeller? Okay, this is gonna take. I actually don't need this. Where are they? Where are they coming from? She just called a bunch. Where are they coming from though? They're gonna surprise me? My bike is here. I didn't even see her, the yeller. Whew. The thing is, first person, this is so much more stressful. Oh, they're over there. I can see them there. You can see them. There she is. That's the yeller. So let's uh, kill her like this. Like there that. We there we go. Yes, Deacon. And here they are. Just kill them one by one. Whew. It is definitely more stressful when you play this in first person. I don't know guys, do you think that we can maybe go and kill a horde? Do you guys want to try and kill a horde together? I know that there are a few of them walking around here. Yeah, and he saw me. And I'm using the taser on him. Come on, burn, burn, burn before your friend comes in. And he's burning. He's burning. Now he's burning. Oh. oh, look at that pain and agony. Shh, making too much noise. But this is priceless. I mean, look at this in first person. And in the headset, this is magnificent. I mean, you can see the 3D. I mean, look at this. Whew. 
and us another nice thing is the taser can cause this to happen if we can see that there's a, a fuel here a gas tank here if you use the taser that happens which is kind of cool in first person this is amazing of course in the headset you can't beat that so let's go and see if we can find a horde oh i heard i heard i heard oh hello okay i'm just rolling 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 yeah I don't want a wolf to come and, and just surprise me. Okay, I get it. You're hot. Okay, we're at... Let's just heal ourselves. Let's see... If there is any horde around. There is a horde right here. Should we go and see if we can locate them? Let's just leave our bike and just go there by foot. I mean, look at this. Look how good this looks. The people that worked on that, Band Studio, they did an amazing job. And I am using a reshade, um, not just for the Depth 3D, I'm also using a reshade that creates these colors these levels and the thing is i'm actually doubling it because it looks for me it looks so cinematic and very realistic and it feels so amazing in 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 vr i can't even explain how good that feels and i have been getting some messages from people on on my channel asking if there's a performance hit when you use reshade and to be honest guys no no because you have to understand reshade is post process it happens just one second before it reaches our eyes it renders to our eyes and it's just it doesn't really take that much power and resources from our GPU. The thing that I do find that is heavy is virtual desktop. Now, when I use VR Companion, I don't have any... Ooh. I don't have anything that is any performance hit at all when I use uh, VR Companion, which is the free app that was created by Blue Sky Defender. But when I am using virtual desktop, that's when I feel the most hit on my performance in the headset. I mean, you can see how the reshade that I'm using, how it looks, it's just mind blowing. It is really, really good. What? Okay, 97 meters over there. Uh oh, a bear. A bear. Guys, there's a bear. Oh shit. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. cannot climb okay so that means that I need <sighs> didn't expect the bear did not expect the bear but there he is let's see him up close and even kneel down to see that beauty in 3d depth I mean look at this eye and you see that reshade look how beautiful that is I can't even express enough how that looks and feels. 
Love it. Just love it. Okay, quiet. Like, I don't know if the horde is here. I can't see them. By the way, I'm going to leave in the description below, I'm going to leave a link to the reshade that I'm using. Of course, the Depth 3D and VR Companion Virtual Desktop. And please, guys, support our friend Blue Sky Defender for creating this amazing shader for us so that we can experience this with 3D depth. Because this is this is priceless. This is so nice. You can see when there's depth like this, when you're up high and you look down, that's when you can really, really feel it. Okay, let's go find the horde. <sighs> that was... Whew. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, I am using the Quest 2. I am using the Link cable. I don't really like using AirLink. For some reason, I'm not able to really get the full benefit of the AirLink. If you guys have any tricks or tips, the numbers that you use, um, memory... Whatever it is that you use that you get really good results with AirLink, please write them in the comments down below and I would be more than happy to try all of them. Nice. This looks stunning. And I can't wait for you guys to see the horde. And we're gonna try and kill them. Okay, let's put a... And the music changes. And you know what that means when the music changes. Uh, the problem is, it adds so much stress. Let me use my sense... Oh! They're inside. They're inside. Okay. <laughs> Nothing like scrap. They're inside the house. Like, I don't want to wake them up, but I do want to wake them up. Okay, run. Get out. Get out and escape. Uh, that's all. That all it took. Recharge. Do we have anything here that we can take? 
Okay, we started with the horde. So it feels like there's more over there. Anything inside here? Take. Oh. That's it. That was a small horde. Maybe it was leftovers? wasn't so bad find a horde kill it when it snows I mean look at this look at this ah, I love it so much this looks and feels amazing we'll try and kill a horde you can see that when you go when you ride the bike it goes into third person but when you go into battle or when you just roam around as Deke you will basically be in first person which is fine by the way the first person mod is oh Did I hear a bear? Two years ago. I did. Oh no. There's the horde. There's the horde. We jumped right into the horde. So let's uh, track back and go and find them. Are they coming? Whew. Oh my god. There's the bear. The bear's gone. charge I don't want the bear on top of the horde so we're gonna have to shh slowly see what we can do okay so the horde I by mistake approached it with the bike I want to see where they are. Oh, there they are. Let's put this on. Let's see if we can craft some Molotovs. Napalm Molotovs. That's all I have. I think they've noticed me. Just by the screamings. Okay, guys, honestly, seriously, stressed me? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's a good spot. Let's uh, do this. Call them up. Buttercup. Come on. Nice. Look at them! Oh. There's a lot. Pay attention to this guy. The nice thing about the, the, the first person, 
the mother, what they did, they let us in the, in the bush when we were sneaking and we're in the bush when we do want to throw stuff like napalm molotovs they kind of raised us a bit so we're still not visible but we can see what's going on let's just wait until a few more arrive and then throw a little bit more and see what happens when they all die see what happens to the bar of Okay, half of half of them died. Okay, it's time to run. Time to escape. And let's use uh, let's use the health we need. Let's use the stamina, and let's also use the focus. And start running. And I will also use... Run. Run deep. Oh. That is stressful. Okay, I'm running, I'm running. Let's see if I can... I don't have any more. I don't have any more. I have six of those. Okay, good. Ah, this is stressful. I'm so stressed. This is not even funny. That is so good. If you don't try this in VR, I don't know how you can enjoy this game otherwise. Oh, don't you, don't, yo. Do I need more? No, I'm still good. Run fast, oh shit. I saw something. This. I want to just try it. And we kill the horde. Done. We killed the freaking horde. <sighs> Together. We literally... That sounds like another horde. Do you hear that sound? That sounds like another horde. But honestly, people, look at this. Look at this graphics. Experience the depth. Oh, I need those things. Like, I don't have any more material to craft the, the napalm molotovs. Okay, let's... Oh. Is this your mom? I'm so sorry. Oh. Come on, Deke. Grab some mesh. Yes. Get some fresh meat. That's where we it all started, guys. The bear. Nice. Guys, thank you so much for joining me and killing the horde. That was kind of fun, kind of stressful. Um, bear, bear in mind that first person, it's always, always super stressful. 
because it's everything is right there right in our faces but you can see how amazing this feels and i i honestly can't think of any other way playing games experiencing games other than that way so with that nice view with that nice visual before i switch from side by side to one screen i please please go back to press f7 again or right control so that you will not get all dizzy or all cross-eyed and i will share with you the way i use the reshade and the way i use the depth 3d all the properties that i've been using so please do it in three two one go okay so guys we're back we're back to single screen no more side by side and as you can see it looks good it still looks great it's the reshade that looks amazing the colors the levels the the lighting it's just so so nice to look at but it's not 3d depth but if i press on the reshade this is where you can see so you can see that i'm using lightroom quint lightroom which is basically i'm using a sublime days light by sublime reshade and i'm just doubling it so basically it's extra if i turn one of them off you will see the difference it's uh, a little bit bluish and i kind of like that hard effect on the levels and for me this looks great it still looks amazing it looks better than the the default it just adds so much to it but it's still not what i can get with doubling it so i usually use double and then the super depth 3d vr that's what i use right here i use 75 it's the default would be zero i use 75 and basically what it is it's the ipd that you get in your headset so basically it's the distance between your pupils i use that 75 which is supposed to be between 63 to about 75 i know people that use it and they go all the way to 90 and 97 i kind of don't want to strain my eyes that much and it could cause that so i'm just playing it safe um, divergence and convergence i use 25 for the divergence slider again here don't go crazy because it's it depends on how close and how far your screen is in front of you inside the headset you don't want to create discomfort with your eyes and you don't want to create that um to, you don't want your eyes to diverge that much and then in the depth map map uh, adjustment sorry I used 30 that's it that's what I use and I will say goodbye for this one and I will definitely definitely see you in the next video